Hey guys, Redneck Wannabe here. I hope all's well with you and your family today. Um, I haven't put a video out in really a while um, just because number one, I've been busy and um, really I've just been coming out here just to feed the animals and go. And so I haven't really been doing a lot of projects except for today. And um, you know, have you ever had, you know, you're like, man, I'm gonna tell him off and I'm gonna tell so, you know, I'm gonna give him a piece of my mind and you have this conversation with yourself in your mind and you know exactly what you're gonna say, how you're gonna say it, what he's gonna say, she's gonna say, whatever. And you know in your mind and then you go and you do it and it's nothing, nothing like you thought or planned out. So this project is kind of like that. So, um, you know, one of my goals is to show you Man, I'm just a, I'm just a guy. I'm just a regular guy, and I screw up just like everybody else. My, I don't want my channel just to be yeah. Look at me. Look look what I did. Look how good I am, because I'm not. But this is one of those that I had such great intentions. I was like, man, this is gonna be such a great video, and I'm gonna I'm gonna sh you know it's really gonna work, and it doesn't. So here you go. All right. So here here's the pigs. So, the hog panel goes way up there. So, um, and I don't, I don't remember how many hog panels I have here, but a lot. And uh, pounding the T-posts in and then putting the hog panels on, that was a lot of time. And what I, what I really wasn't counting on was a lot of money. Because right back there, there's... It's got to be a humongous rock. And I could not get those T-posts down, and so I had to take it out. And so that added, I think, one or two extra uh, uh, hog panels. So uh, it took a lot of time, and this, honestly, this, this was a lot more expensive than I wanted it to be. So my long-term goal is that tree line right there all the way down. I want to enclose that for the pigs because there's just, you know, there's a lot of undergrowth, acorns, all that. So I got to thinking, all right, I'm smarter than the pigs, I think. So I'm going to enclose this area right here with an electric fence. So what I did was I just got some, uh, uh, some PVC pipe, I think what, half inch, something like that. And I just staked it all around. So right over in there, and this was just a test because with the PVC pipe, you can see how I've run electric um, fence line all the way around. And my intent was I want all this green briar gone. Um, and the only way that I can really think of the best way is with the pigs. And so I thought I would fence this out with electric wire, take the hog panel out, let the hogs come in, do what hogs do, take care of it, of all this junk. But, all right, so there's the, uh, the energizer. I've got everything plugged in, everything's correct. There's the ground going to the line and the energizer is plugged in and you can, you can see, you know, I don't even feel it um, so I'm not sure what is going on um, I know Cameron you have a lot of experience I think you have more experience than I do with electric fence so I'd love to know your uh, your thoughts the only thing I can think of is instead of using PVC I'm just using this tree trunk and I just thought well I'll just get some string ouch I did feel that so but not enough to um, to keep a hog from from barreling through so and then i, I don't know if i if i explain this this electric uh netting i wasn't even going to turn on i was just going to have it there just in case whenever the hogs came through and if they did get shocked and they bolted at least that electric or that netting there would keep them you know from getting out having a jailbreak so that's why i have two different things but back to this i thought maybe the string will will be enough of an insulator around the um around the tree but 
you know, I just got shocked a minute ago, but man, I'm not feeling anything right now. So, I can feel a faint, faint pulse, but not enough to, you know, keep a pig out. So, there you go. Chalk it up to, you know, just, I, I need to, I really need to figure something out. And I don't know if I need a, a stronger energizer um, or what, because that's only, I think, 0.7 joules. But, you know, my goal is I would have liked to have used this setup you know with the electric wire i would have liked to have taken that all the way down because that is a whole lot less expensive than hog panels so anyway back to the drawing board but uh you know that's it so my goal is now that we're getting into fall um it's more of of uh project time just because it's not so stinking hot so hopefully, um, I'll put, you know, I'll have more videos coming in. Um, but again, I'm not just going to do a video about, hey, here I am feeding the chickens or here I am feeding the hogs. So, um, you know, I want them to be, you know, good videos. But uh, anyway, thanks for watching. I, I, ho I hope this help and helps. And uh, if you have any uh, words of wisdom, it'd be greatly appreciated. So I appreciate y'all. Y'all take care. Bye.